him. We got some milk in there. Boy, <laughs> no. You know. <laughs> but you know what I mean. You know that. No. But you know. Feelings, got me deep in my feelings. Saying this is easy. Can't control what's inside of me. Feeling like you might be my wifey, baby. When I see you, there is harmony. Girl, you're making me wanna sing. Ooh. What's good, YouTube? Back what again. With, back again with another video. So today we're doing like a mukbang. Going to mukbang with some homemade food. You know what I'm saying, got the young. Uh, what is it? Mm, Cajun chicken it's like pasta. Like Cajun chicken pasta. But she already been messing hers up. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So today, what are we gonna talk about, babe? We're gonna talk about what what wifey got done to. Can anybody guess? I already pointed it out. Can anybody guess what she got? I already have my butt. Now I have my boobs. And how do you feel about that? Um. Man, first you're gonna do that. Make sure you like this video. Share, subscribe. Make sure, yeah. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You know what I mean? Bring your phone off. Um. And all that good stuff, okay? But, um, I know, I was a little nervous at first. Yeah, he was kind of against it. Not really against it, but. I wasn't against it, but I was just like, uh. Because, you know, I like the way her boobs were before. But she Maybe wanted, you said the same thing about my butt before. And now you love my butt, and you're about to love my boobs. <laughs> I mean, I loved it before, too. Yeah. I'm not like, I didn't like it. But, you know, I'm gonna support whatever she wanna do, so. But I was just nervous, I didn't know if it was gonna look, how it did look like. Yeah, I was nervous too, but so far they they, they they did turn out good. I still have to wait for them to drop though, but. Because some people be getting like some crazy looking, you know, like stiff looking muscle boobs and shit so you know yeah it just all depends about what you request and what you ask the doctor so i wasn't like i was really nervous i was like i don't want to walk around looking at muscular boobs and stuff so i was a little bit you know on the fence but looking at them they look good they're a little hard still mm -hmm. so they're getting a little soft though but they'll be even softer than this yeah i know and they're gonna drop and it's gonna be actually like squeezable right now. It's like it just looks like they're there. I'm gonna be waking up in the middle of the night just squeezing them for fun. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. No. I'm gonna be waking up. Not I'm yet. Not bad. I'm bad. That's what I'm saying. I'm talking about when I'm allowed to. Not like now. Yeah. But I'm allowed to. But damn, girl, I'm still you. So basically, you were scared at first, but you like the way they turned out so as of as of now. Only right now, yeah. Cause we don't know what they look like all the way until they yeah, heal. Heal. We got some milk in there. Boy, <laughs> no. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. You know they. No. But you know. Uh -huh. A little soft. You know what I mean. So. So I'm gonna give you guys a little story time. Yeah, she's gonna let you guys know how it went. I didn't record like the process. Probably because I forgot my camera. I know I could have done it on my phone, but just traveling alone, and then I was at, actually in Miami during the hurricane week, so just everything going on, and then I ended up having to get a private nurse, and it was just—it's just a long story. You guys are gonna be a part of the story, but um, basically, I didn't get to record. I had like a lot of shit going on, and I don't know, recording wasn't on my top priority list, you know, of having a camera in my face. But basically, I'll give you a little story time of like day one to now. So I got it done like what, a week ago last Wednesday? Um, what, what, what day is that? Mm -hmm. 
And I was in Miami, the like literally I was there while the hurricane was going she on. She got her She went on Monday, September twenty sixth. Mm-hmm. She got the surgery on the twenty eighth and she came back on the thirtieth that Friday. Okay, so Monday. I left. Flew to Miami. Um and the reason why I flew Monday was because my pre op was Tuesday. Um, so that's whenever you, they, you know, you get all your um, vitals and all that. Make sure you're good for surgery. Get your drug test, all that. Um, so flew in Monday. Had my pre-op Tuesday. Did all that. Got cleared. Uh, my office, if I pay in cash at my pre-op, I actually got $500 off. So that's like, I was like, hell yeah. Um, so then had my pre-op. Um, and then that's whenever they do your vitals and all that, like I said. And you get, you have to pay your payment and they get your weight and height and all that. Um, and then the next day was my surgery day. I had surgery at five o'clock in the morning. Oh, I, yeah. I'm glad I had it at five o'clock in, five o'clock in the morning because I was like ready to get it over with and just be done. I don't want to like you know wake up, have it done at like 11, and have to like worry the whole morning. So I'm actually glad I had it at five o'clock in the morning. So I got to get it like done and over with. And I was my doctor's first patient, so you know, first is a lucky one. Well, they're all lucky, but you know. Um, so yeah, I had five o'clock in the morning, and then I had I woke up at like five, six, seven. I think it was like eight, nine ish, right? I called you, cause I called yeah. him like as soon as I woke up. I think it was like nine, it was like, or like eight thirty. No, it was like it was like oh, like eight something. Yeah, eight something. So I woke up for my surgery. Um, the only thing about waking up from surgery for me is the anesthesia itself. Honestly, like I wasn't in pain or anything. Um, but just with the anesthesia, you're like hella shaky and um, you're just out of it. A little bit so i was like what the fuck like it takes you a minute to wake up and like every everything was kind of blurry at first and then you wake up shake a little bit and then um i just heard girls around me like crying and all the same thing for my bbl too for both of my surgeries it wasn't really painful when i woke up it's just more the anesthesia um it's kind of scary because you have the shit in your system and, you, and it comes out like within an hour um so they wake you up. Um, I asked for juice, I think. I asked for something, because my mouth was really dry, because mm -hmm. um, they had the tube down your throat. Um, and then, so I asked for water or whatever, and then they put me in a wheelchair. Um, I ended up having to get a private nurse. So my private, uh, the nurse picked me up. Um, the car ride was kind of like, that kind of hurt a little bit, just because of the bumps and stuff, and just like whenever you jump. Um, it kind of that kind of did hurt, um, but at least you got to sit down though. Yeah, at least I got you know, to sit BBL, down. You got to stand up on a plane. Yeah, so at um, least this time you got to sit down though. This time, at least, yeah. And honestly, this like the boobs is not painful at all. Like, all the videos that I were watching and stuff, like, girls were so dramatic. Like, I mean, to each its own, everyone has different pain, but honestly, like, boobs are not painful. Like, I didn't even take my pain medications. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, she drove me to my um, what's it called, hotel room. She just stayed with me, so my surgery was at five. I probably got to my hotel hotel around like nine, um, and then she stayed with me till six o'clock at night. Um, I just took Tylenol the first two days, um, just because of like the, and I just felt like swollen. It just felt like a, a weight on your um, chest, an unusual weight that you're not used to. Um, so I took Tylenol. So she was there to help me take that, and then. Honestly, for the first day, you're just like sleep because you're on, you're off the anesthesia, so you're just honestly just knocked out all day. Um, so first day wasn't really that bad. Just getting up, like lifting myself up. Well, obviously I have my nurse there, so she helped me. Um, but lifting yourself up and like laying down, you don't really know how much you use your chest until you get your boobs done. Um, so that was kind of like a struggle. Um, and then like if I already needed anything on the ground or in my hotel room, they had like a lower refrigerator. Like I could not do that by myself, so. Thank God I have my nurse. Um, just positioning yourself in bed too, like getting a comfortable position. Like you'll need someone for that because once you're down, girl, you're not getting back up. So yeah, you I, got, you I need, had to help her when she got back. To yeah, you, up a little bit. you need somebody with you at least the first two days. Um, so yeah, my nurse left at six o'clock. After that, I was just honestly asleep for the rest of the night. The second day um, is a little bit more pressure because I feel like everything is just like settled then and um that's whenever your body is like getting used to the new foreign object in your um body which i got um uh what did i get what i think it's silicone no. yeah silicone yeah they got, me got the bear gummy bear yeah but it's silicone gummy bear yeah oh 
don't know. I think that's, yeah, whatever the gummy bear is, um, that's what I got. I didn't get um, anything done. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I got um, five. <laughs> shut up. And then I got, um, I got five 25s. <laughs> <laughs> I got 525 cc's. Um, oh, wait. Oh, wait. That's why I was scared, though. Uh, well, I thought she was going to come I was back. gonna get like porn wait. star, big ass titties. I thought she was going to come back with some F's, G's, or whatever they are, them big old. I was like, hold up. No. Like, you don't need that big, like, you know what I'm saying? But, this, mm -hmm. you know, I can put my head in there, though, just for. <laughs> I the thing about surgery. But it, it looked good though. As a thing about surgery, people who are not educated just talk shit about it. And people are like, there's oh, nothing okay. wrong with it. I mean, if you want to no, do whatever you want to do, no, but listen, it's your listen, body. I think. Listen to this. Yeah, people who talk shit about surgery and are not educated about surgery, it's because you're not educated. Number one, number two, you don't have the money, and you wish you could, but you can't. But people who aren't educated. You don't necessarily have to get the huge BBL. You don't necessarily have to get the huge boobs. You can get what you want. Like for me, I have a petite BBL. I didn't want no big ass fucking butt. I just wanted, I just wanted something to match my body, but you could still tell I have a butt no matter what I wear. Like I had a little butt before for my body type, but I, not everything I wore you could tell I had a butt and I didn't like that. Same thing for my boobs. Yes, I had nice boobs before, but not everything I wore you can't tell I have titties, and I don't like that. I want to be able to wear anything, any shirt, and you can tell I have boobs. So that's why I got my surgery that I got. You don't always have to get surgery to look like a plastic doll, to look like this, to look like that. You get surgery for your own self and for, you know, whatever you want to get to enhance your body. So people who talk shit and just talk down on people who get surgery, honestly, you need to educate yourself and you need to love yourself. And shit, that's what I did. Love myself and educated myself, and I got my body done. So, um, yeah, obviously if you go overboard with the surgery, that's whenever you're doing too much. But I mean, if you get one BBL, your boobs done, whatever the fuck, or a little tummy tuck after you have kids, do you girl, get it done. Like, honestly, it's 2022, everybody gets surgery. Like, it's a lot of people doing it now. Anyways. People who talk shit, it's like, you anyways. just wish, you wish, you wish you're part of that girl club. Cause you're not. Um, but anyways, where was I at? Um, so yeah, Tuesday, the next day, you just feel a little bit more pressure. Um, and then honestly, no pain throughout the whole like recovery. Um, other than just being able to get up and down out of bed, it's kind of like, whoo, you got to catch your breath for a minute. Um, and then walking at a long distance period of time, like I had, a, um, well, I didn't have to, but, um, uh, my nurse, she went downstairs to grab some ice and I decided to walk with her just to be able to, you know, walk out of my bed or whatever and just you know just have some steps in um so i walked down with her just to get some ice and that i kind of like had to catch my breath with that like even though i wasn't even that far to walk to the elevator and go down walk a little bit more to get ice um but with this procedure it does you know, with with you walking a long period of time like you have to like slow down um and then wednesday um i mean not wednesday uh thursday yeah the second day then friday um i actually flew back home that was kind of like annoying just because like you couldn't get comfortable like even just sitting up like i could not get comfortable <clears throat> on the plane um, that's because she likes to sleep on a plane that's why yeah i could not like, get obviously comfortable. she can't lay i had know. the neck pillow like i even i had the window seat so i had my um pillow prepped against the window like i tried everything i could just not i could not get comfortable for nothing like and i even took some tylenol before i got on the plane because i knew like i was going to be struggling on the plane but yeah that i feel like any procedure you have being on the airplane is just going to be an annoyance and like it's just gonna be annoying like even just being on the plane in general it's just annoying um so that was like a struggle and then getting back home how was i like good i don't think i'm gonna say for men no adult time Ben, shut up and we had we had it the second day i was here you know what i mean no. all the all the adults out there you know what i'm talking about no it's not the same yeah Man, no it's not mm -mm. I'm agreeing with oh, you. Oh, yeah. That's the only thing. <laughs> you know, I can't you know what I'm much. talking about. He got to do all the work. <laughs> yeah, I can't but do can't, much, so. But the thing is, you can't even do the work hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But other than that, you know. I'm weak. She did pretty good, though, other than that, though. She was chilling. We have to watch out for our dog, though. Yeah, she now come. 
We have a dog now, guys. We didn't make a video about her. We have a new dog. We had her for a while. I know where she's at. We don't need her anyway because we're eating. Yeah. She's under the, she likes to be under the couch. <laughs> I don't she's know like, why, but she loves the couch though for some reason. She likes to go under there and just lay down. I don't know why. But, but she loves to be on me. Like, so when, we're, when we are in bed, she likes to be on my chest and just yep. be all up on me. Um, so that was kind of hard because I have to like tell her like, no, you can't be on me. Like, and she looks she's at her like, like, why not? Right, she's not used to that because she's always all up on me. Him too, so if you want surgery done, babe, I'm gonna get some neck. <laughs> she will be all yeah, up on you. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, yeah. like, but, but we'll do another video in like what? Like probably like four weeks when it's because it's only been a week and a half, so. No, I'll do it six weeks, whenever they drop. Well, yeah, well, six weeks. There's not going to be a difference, like, well, you know. When it's squishy. Yeah. Well, we're doing so another right video. Now, should I show them? Yeah, like, you can show them, yeah. Show them with the little uh, bra thing. Okay. So you have to wear your bra at all times. I have my waist trainer on, too. So this is what it looks like, the bra. Yeah. So you can see. You got the little zip I have to have like the waist um, this at all times um, for now. Um, as you can see, this is what the girls look like. 525 cc's. Um, they're still a little bit hard. They got softer than what they were. Yeah, they were. They were like. Really they were like really hard, but now they have like a little bit of bounce to them. Not too much, but definitely you could tell like a difference within a week. And it's only week number. Excuse it's me. Only week, week number one. Wednesday. So. Next Wednesday will be week two. So. So yeah. So you have to wear your bras at all time. Um, so with me, I, I, my job is bottle servicing and waitressing, so I've been, I can't wear my outfits that I usually wear. Um, I've just been wearing like loud, uh, <laughs> i just been wearing, <laughs> you're stupid. i just been wearing sports, <laughs> sports wear. Ah. i just been wearing sports wear, um, so like two piece sets, um, so yeah. And All then right. after the six weeks, I just have to wear this at night time. This is how I wear my waist trainer at night, I'll have to wear this <coughs> at night time. Um, I won't have to wear it during the day though, but I, that's after six weeks. And then we'll do a video so you guys can see, you know, what it look like in different uh, yeah. shirts. Because I bought her a whole bunch of... Yeah, he just got me a whole bunch She's of She's so spoiled, boy, I tell you. Whole bunch of she just got 25 new shirts, basically. Not even shirts, you got me two pieces. I got all type of shit, but... I don't know, for, some, see, for hey, some reason this feels really though. good. I'm not gonna lie though, I got some swag. Like, I'll be picking some good shit out for her though. A lot of her shit in that closet, I buy a lot of it, and I pick it out myself. So you know what I mean? I do pretty good. You men out there, you definitely gotta know your woman's taste. Mm -hmm. Definitely, cause you don't always want to need ask her. Do you like this? Like I know everything, so I don't have to ask her nothing. Like I know what shoes she like, everything. What perfume? I know everything what she likes. I don't ever have to ask. Well, you like this? Cause I already know what she like, what she don't like, what she would wear. I already know. Speaking so, of babe, some perfume. So you know. Ooh. I know everything, so I don't gotta ask no questions. So when she be like, oh, I want some new clothes. Okay. Soon as she tell me that, I'm online. Already looking. And then, and then, yeah. and then boom. Because it comes in on on Thursday. Mm -hmm. So maybe yeah, Thursday, yeah. I'll be damn near like two weeks. So maybe so, we could do like so a little So we could video. do a little try on haul though for her. She could. So you guys could see. Because it'll be, it'll be a little oh, bit One thing about too. surgery too, your stomach gets like super bloated. But I feel like that's honestly with any procedure that you get, like the doctor. I asked the doctor because, like, literally, it was like I was three months pregnant. I was like, "Oh my gosh, why am I so bloated?" And the doctor's like, "It's just normal. It's the way your body reacts." You it got just... a secret. No, we don't. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it came up positive whenever I got surgery. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> And I would not have my boobs done right now. <laughs> oh shit. Um. I wish though. Maybe a year or two. Baby, what? <laughs> Start that though. A year or two, babe. 2023 baby coming soon. Milk in the breast assist. Ow, oh, babe. Oh, shit. Sorry. Shit. So. Sorry. I'm just not used to him yet. I just say when we have more money in the bank account. No, we don't. We don't need to. Hey. 2023. <laughs> 2023. Babe, more money. <laughs> baby coming soon. <laughs> We're good nah, right now, but you know. Nah, we're we cool though. We be chilling. We be trying to travel, you know what I'm saying? Do different stuff like that, so. Plus, we're, we're both young, so, so we're, not, we're not really that worried about a kid right now, but we do want one though. I say a year or two. Six months. Babe! <laughs> I'm just <waiting. laughs> But, anyway, so, we'll do a probably next week. Yeah. Because we're going, we're going to San Diego next week. We'll do week. a video on that too, us traveling to San yeah, Diego. Yeah, we're going to San Diego. 
Um, I'm driving my motorcycle out there, so I'll show you guys. You guys haven't seen me yet, but I'll show you guys one day. Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to San Diego, so we could do a little video out there, and then when we get back, we'll do like a. And when she get her her clothes, she we'll do a try on haul, so you guys can see her. Do, all the outfits I picked out, you know what I'm saying? See if I did a good job, you know. And, you know what I mean? Y'all could tell me what I did good. If I didn't, you're like, uh uh. But yeah, we we'll no. do that. I think it's because Shane and Fashion Nova is like easy to shop on. So. No, I just know what you like. Well, that too, but I'm just saying for girls, like Shane know. and Fashion Nova is easy to like. I don't really like men stuff on there. And it yeah. shrink and it shrink too fast. They're like it's more like loungewear for men. Like it'll, it's good for like shirts like in the house. Like, yeah, yeah. It's good for like shirts like this, just to chill in the house, but not necessarily to like dress up. And plus, because I don't like shirts to be having like a wide ass neck. It'd be like yeah, I don't like that. I like it to be like on my neck, not it'd be like this wide. I'd be like mm -mm, I ain't feeling it. Yeah. I'd be feeling weird when it's shirts like that. I don't like that. But make sure you, this video is getting long. But shoot, it's twenty minutes. But hey. That's what happens when you're eating some good food and having a good conversation. <laughs> hey, wifey did a thing though. I ain't gonna No, care. you did your thing. Tell me about the chicken. Oh, yes, look. I'm on the phone with her. I'm coming home. She goes, the breading on the chicken won't stick. I said, well, what are you doing? She goes, I put it in the, the egg, the buttermilk, and then in the breading. I said, and, and, the, I, and I said, in the what? <laughs> and I did not double bread it, but honestly, I, I said, said you don't need I was not thinking and I was I honestly said, high. I <laughs> said, you don't need to put it in the, the <laughs> buttermilk. Buttermilk is a, a marinade, basically, like, when you want, like, when I make fried chicken, I put it in buttermilk for, like, an hour. But me, right? I thought I thought they did that for whenever to, like, get the, no, no. to get it extra thick. They no. didn't necessarily, and I thought that was, like, a substitute, and you don't have to double coat if you do that. But I just wasn't You can still double coat in buttermilk, too, but buttermilk. Is mainly to I keep like to keep the chicken moist. Like remember that day I made it, and you guys were like, damn, it's juicy. Yeah. That's what it's basically for. It makes the the chicken juicy. But anyway, so I came home. I said, look, you put it in the egg. You dip it in the egg. You put it in the bread. In, you dip it back in the egg. You put it in the bread, and then you lay it on the on the on the a rack sheet for like five ten minutes before you fry it. Yeah. You want the bread to like you know kind of dry kind of before you put it in the fryer. And then you now gotta make I'm... sure your fryer is hot too. If you put it in while it's cold, it ain't gonna work. Yeah. It's just gonna fall off. So now I can't. It came out crispy, and she's like, "Damn, you know, I'm a real life chef." You didn't know, but and in the me house, me too. I be cooking too, but I, got, I know she do. I'm I still need. I still need to learn on some things. But honestly, she learned from the best. Honestly, I thought it was just a high. I think it was a high moment. But honestly, I think that I thought that the better the better milk was a substitute for not double coating. No, no, buttermilk but, is just basically making it more moist and juicy. That's all it really is. Yeah. So now that's I what know. it really is. Basically. Now I know. But we don't cut this video off here because it's getting long. We don't want you guys to get too yes. bored. But it is it actually just a good video though. So you guys should watch the whole thing. Yeah. So, but anyway, make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe. You know, we come in with more videos all the time because we're trying to get, trying to get up there. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And mm -hmm. we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.